Intelligent mobile robots usually have the ability to autonomously navigate and avoid obstacles. However, simple collision avoidance is usually not enough when operating in a human environment. For example, in the present scenario, simply trying to avoid the human may fail if the human doesn't act cooperatively. Collision avoidance can be challenging even for human, as one's intent is not necessarily obvious to another. A common strategy employed by humans in such scenarios is to communicate with each other and express their intents. Inspired by this, we propose to incorporate explicit communication for human-robot collision avoidance. We focus on a single human-single robot orthogonal encounter scenario where one of them has to yield to the other. We propose to use a wearable haptic interface to communicate the robot's intent to the human user. The haptic interface displays different vibrational patterns to indicate the robot's intent. A single long vibration signal warns the user that the robot wants to pass first, while a series of short light pauses indicates that the robot wants to yield and let the human, human passes first. We conducted an experiment to study the effectiveness of the proposed haptic communication. This video shows our experimental setup and a sample trial. The study had two different conditions with and without haptic communication. When there was no communication, we found that the user either made last-minute decision to avoid the collision or acted very conservatively. When the robot communicated its intent via haptic feedback, we observed that the user made decision early on and smoothly avoid collision with the robot. To better understand the effect of haptic communication and predict the user's responses, we developed a mathematical model using the concept of social force. Using the social force model, we can predict the user's movements as shown in the figure. The parameters used in the social force model were learned from experimental data. An interesting result we found is that haptic communication shifted some of the parameters into distinct clusters, which indicates that users altered their strategies according to communication. If you're interested to learn more about this research, please visit our poster.